Hi students, welcome to this video. I'd just like to inform you that the PDF of sample answers is available on our website. The link is given in the description below to check it out. Hi students, this is Judy Joseph from Stella Maris English Language School. In this video, we're looking at the task card. Describe a speech you gave. Say when you gave it, why you gave it, what it was about and explain how you felt about it. Now before we go into my sample answer, I'd like to examine some vocabulary that you could use while preparing this topic. So what is a speech? It is a public talk, right? You give a speech or you can say you deliver a speech, right? So remember to use the words give and deliver with speech. You can also say a public speaking, speaking in public, or facing an audience okay those are alternative expressions for giving a speech now what are the areas that you can include in this topic see the main broad areas that could be included are the fear you experienced that's something you could touch upon then the preparations you made and finally your feelings before or while delivering the speech and after delivering the speech so what kind of vocabulary can you use so for fear, you can say, I felt very anxious. I felt scared, fearful. I dreaded the idea of speaking in public. I was intimidated by the idea of giving a speech. With regard to preparations, you can say, I wrote out an impressive matter, included lots of points, add, even added a few quotations. I memorized it. I practiced loudly many times. I practiced speaking in front of the mirror or I practiced with a recorder. Now feelings on the day, you felt very nervous, tense, you had a dry mouth, hands and knees were trembling, you had sweaty palms. Now after the performance, you felt relieved, you felt proud, you were overjoyed, you had a sense of accomplishment. So all these are vocabulary that uh, you could use while you're presenting this topic. So let's go on to my sample answer. Frankly, I have always dreaded the idea of speaking in public. I felt so intimidated by the very thought of it that I always tried to evade it. However, we had a very strict English teacher, Mrs. Shobha George in class 10. Our class was in charge of conducting the school assembly and she insisted that each of us must deliver a speech by turns every day. She assigned each student a topic and the date. Now for me, the prospect of going on stage was terrifying and I had a crippling stage fright. I tried backing out but my teacher was insistent. She encouraged and motivated me to be bold and take it as a challenge. I was assigned the topic punctuality and I finally sat down to prepare my speech. I managed to find some very good points on the value of time, the need for effective time management and the importance of punctuality. I also found some quotations on the topic. My teacher approved of the matter and I set off to memorize it. For a whole week, I kept practicing the speech over and over again till I knew it like the back of my hand. On the day of the event, I remember how nervous and tense I was. As I was waiting for my turn, my heart was pounding and my mouth felt dry. When my name was called out, I went up on stage and when I saw the sea of faces fixed on me, I froze. For a moment, I thought my brain had gone blank and I felt I had completely forgotten the speech. Slowly, I began blurting out the lines. Among the sea of faces in the audience, I noticed my friends smiling and nodding as I spoke. That helped me feel more comfortable and the words began to flow more easily and I could sense the nervousness fading away. In about three to four minutes, the speech was over and as I finished, I heard a loud applause. I felt thrilled, not just to hear the clapping, but also because of the fact that I had conquered my fears and nervousness. Since then, I have never shied away from going up on stage again. I learned an important lesson that day. Do not run away from your fears. Face them. We now move on to part 3. Why do people get nervous when they speak in public? 
Well, the fear of public speaking is quite universal and is experienced by a large majority of people. I think this could be due to several factors. One could be the fear of being judged by the audience. Usually people with low self-esteem tend to feel anxious about how they will be perceived by people. They may be worried that their performance may not be good enough and that they may be rejected by their audience. Another reason could be lack of adequate knowledge about the subject, which may make the speaker feel insecure when facing a large crowd. How can public speaking skills be improved? Well, the skill of public speaking can be mastered. There are workshops and seminars aimed at helping people develop the skill. Thorough practice and preparation can help speakers feel more confident. Also, Understanding the needs and expectations of the audience can help people deliver speeches that are customized for them. This would keep the audience interested and speakers would not be anxious about their poor response. What kind of speeches or lectures have you heard? Well, I think there have been plenty of speeches I have heard over the years. In schools and colleges, we frequently have had speeches delivered by the principal, teachers or other guests. These were generally motivational speeches aimed at encouraging students to aim high and work tirelessly towards their goals. I must say many of these speeches inspired us all through our years of study. I particularly remember occasions when our school used to invite high achievers like scientists, police officers, IES officers, astronauts and so on. Their speeches would inspire us to Dream big and aim for the sky. What qualities should speakers have? Well, I think speakers who are able to captivate their audience must have certain qualities. They should have excellent command of the language and must be able to articulate their ideas effectively and coherently. The ability to connect with their audience is also essential. This usually happens when the speaker has an interesting style of speaking intersperses his speech with anecdotes or jokes. Also, effective modulation plays a key role. Finally, speakers must have in-depth knowledge about the subject they are speaking about. Why do people find it harder to give speeches to children? Well, it is undeniable that giving speeches to children can be quite tough. Children have shorter attention spans and they may lose interest in what the speaker is trying to say. So while addressing an audience composed of children, speakers need to avoid heavy words and speak in a style that they can relate to. Speakers must also be able to make the speech interactive or use heavy doses of humor, stories or maybe audio-visual aids to keep the audience interested. That's all in this video. I'll soon be back with yet another topic. Till then, goodbye. If this video was useful for you, give us a thumbs up, subscribe and click on the bell icon for more updates. And also do share with your friends.